Today, IKEA will make a major announcement that will impact workers. Yeah, our new store in Merriam is just months from opening. Sarah Hollenbeck joins us live with how those new workers will benefit. Good morning, Sarah. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, this means that IKEA is going to boost the minimum wage here at this Merriam store, but it also means that this is happening in other companies all around the country. While we're waiting on lawmakers to possibly make changes to the federal and state minimum wage, instead, these companies are taking matters into their own hands. So here's what it means for IKEA. Right now, their workers are being paid $9.17 an hour. This would mean that this would go up to $10.76 for their minimum wage. Meanwhile, the federal Federal and Kansas minimum wage is $7.25 an hour. Now, IKEA says it shows the almost $11 per hour bottom income because that's what a single adult should have to afford basic living expenses in most parts of the country. Well, this debate is also taking center stage around the country right now. Gap recently made a similar proposal to increase rate wages, and the retailer says job applications soared 10%. And the CEO of McDonald's also said that they're backing a federal initiative to to raise that minimum wage to just over $10 an hour. But some critics say that raising the state and federal minimum wages means that companies may hire fewer people and can lead to price hikes in the store's merchandise. Well, here at the Merriam IKEA, they aren't planning to open this store until fall. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of work going on behind us, but they are hiring 300 people right now, and all of those jobs are now listed on IKEA's website. Reporting live here in Merriam, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News.